What's up everybody? My name is Matt and I'm a bodyboard photographer and content creator living in Hawaii and I wanted to share with you some of my recommendations on lenses that you can use to get started in surf photography. It's very important to first consider what type of aesthetic do you really like. Some photographers like super, super wide angle lenses where you can see the foreground and the background and the surfer is in the wave or on the wave and they're pretty small because the angle is so wide. Or do you want something mid-length, meaning the surfer is going to be more prominent in your photo with a little bit of foreground, a little bit of background. Or do you want something super tightly cropped in using a telephoto lens like the ones I personally use? Another thing that you're going to need to consider is where are you shooting? Which surf break are you shooting and how far away are you going to be from the surfer directly to accomplish the shot that you're looking for? For me, I live on the North Shore of Oahu and I do have access to some of the best waves on the planet during the winter time. Some of the breaks are a little bit further out though, so I do find that I need a little bit longer of a focal length in order to achieve the shots that I personally am looking for. So just to recap of what we're doing before you go out and purchase a lens, just consider the type of shots that you're looking for. Do you want wide, mid, or super cropped in shots? Also, just remember how far away are you going to be from the surfer? My personal preference is to use the same brand lens with the same brand of camera. There are many, many people that debate on different types of lenses that you can use, and there are converters that go from one lens manufacturer to a different camera body. For me, personally, I just find that native bodies to native lenses is the best way to go. There is definitely a significant weight difference between this lens, 200 to 600 mil, and this lens, which is 70 to 200 mil. Both are pretty heavy lenses in general. For me personally, I do not shoot with a tripod, so I am carrying this around up and down the beach for miles and miles sometimes. I walk up the beach, I walk down the beach, I carry this with me. For other people, I definitely know that it's a kind of an inconvenience and it is get really physically demanding to carry something like this around all day when you're shooting, but the 70 to 200 is great if you're going to be walking around a lot more as well too and looking for something a little less in weight. So when you're looking for lenses, it's definitely important to kind of keep in mind of how heavy the lens is and if you are or are not using a tripod. This specific lens is a G Master lens, so it does have way more glass on the inside of this lens than this lens, for example, which is the standard G series lens. However, I will say the G Master lens is worth every single penny and it's worth every single amount of energy that it takes to schlep this around as well too from the beach. I just use a backpack personally and carry this lens in my backpack and then carry this lens uh, using the shoulder strap around my uh, neckline area. The last thing that you want to consider before you buy a lens is, is this lens that you're about to purchase going to have any other uses? I know a lot of photographers can shoot a lot of different things, though for me personally, I tend to hone in on the bodyboard and surf photography. So I'm typically purchasing lenses that are used for a specific purpose of shooting those subjects. But for you, you might consider doing portrait photography or other landscape photographies or any other thing that you can shoot. So keep that in mind too. Unfortunately, there's not really one lens that can do it all. The 70 to 200 mil is a great range for surf photography. The reason why I like this specific focal length is that it has a range. So I can go from 70, fairly wide for a surf photographer, but also I can go all the way up to 200 mil, which is fairly cropped in as well too, depending on how close you are to your subject. It allows you to quickly change from wider to more narrow in a short amount of time with just a spin of the dial here. The next ones that I wanted to talk about was the 200 to 600 mil f 5.6 to 6. 3 lens from Sony. This is definitely my favorite go-to lens for surf photography, hands down. I love the focal length. 200 allows me definitely to get way more reach, but then when I want to zoom in even further, 400 to 600 mil is definitely the recommended focal length that I personally use pretty much 99% of the time. So seeing how I know my surf breaks pretty well, I'm definitely going to need at least 400 mil to get a halfway decent cropped in shot. 600 mil will definitely take me all the way there to what I'm looking for. 200 is pretty wide for me personally. Uh, I do find that as a great stepping stone up though from the 70 to 200 that we just previously talked about. 
One reason why I really like the Sony lenses is it does have a weather sealing right here between the joint between the camera body and the lens as well too. I do greatly appreciate that because I am really hard on my lenses. Uh, as a lot of you have seen on my Instagram account or starting to show up on my YouTube, I am out at the beach and I am hard on my gear. And it's nothing worse than getting any sand or any water in between the camera and the lens. Unfortunately, it gets on the sensor and the camera. It also gets on the glass and the lens in the front and in the back as well too. So it's really important to make sure that you're aware of your surroundings and try not to drench your gear, of course, in any water. But... I am out in the sun, I'm out in the rain, I'm out in all of the mist that's coming off from the shore break when it crashes down and it's spraying water everywhere. So it's really important to remember to wipe down your gear afterwards as well too, camera body included. So I hope this information has been somewhat helpful to you and your surf photography. I try to keep my videos a little bit more on the shorter side. I don't want to ramble on too long, but just keep in mind, uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on YouTube. I have Instagram. I have TikTok. They're all linked down below. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, and we'll see you next time.